I'm going to show you how to create a Weebly web quest today and there's two different ways that we can do this one is that I would have something similar to this right here this is a web quest that's been created in Weebly and you can see here that each tab up here at the top is one of the pieces of a web quest this web quest was actually built as a brand new site. I'm going to show you how to do that first. And then the other thing I'm going to show you how to do is how to create a web quest within your Weebly site. And here's an example of that. So here is the website I have and up at the top I've got this visual literacy web quest right here. Let me click on that. Whenever I go there, this is the introduction of my web quest, and then I have drop downs for each of the, of the steps in the web quest. So starting out to build a web quest that is its own site, I'm logged into Weebly here, and I'm going to click Add Site. And I'm going to go through all of the things that I normally would here. So the title for my website um, would be the title of my web quest and I have a web quest that's called travel planners so I'm going to type that in there the type of site is education and this would be a class project now remember this is where you're going to create your URL and you want to choose option A and I want to type in travel planners Oh, it's taken, so how about Travel Planner? There we go. Travel Planners 1 is what I have. Now I hit Continue. Now you know that I can edit this image um, right here as, I'm, as I finish up my web quest. I could change my design, all of that. What I really want to show you is how to create the web quest itself. So I'm going to go to Pages, and instead of Home, I'm going to call this one Introduction. I'm going to save that. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to Pages, and I'm going to create new pages. This one is going to be the task. This one is going to be the process. Our evaluation. And our conclusion. And then of course we know that we need to add a teacher page and a credits page as well. And that's it. Now, whenever I am going to create my web quest, I will just click on whichever step I'm on and drag all of these elements down here. For example, with my introduction, I'm probably going to choose paragraph with title, pull it down. Where it says click here to edit, I'll probably type introduction again. And this is where I'm going to type in that intro that I've already written kind of hooks my learners, give them a problem to be solved. And just so on like that. Okay, so that is how you will create a web quest in a Weebly site. Now, the other thing you can do is, like I said, create a web quest in your existing website. So that's how you, this is how you do that. I'm going to close that, and I'm going to go into this site here. Now, this is a very comprehensive site I have here that I'm using as an example. It's going to get kind of cumbersome as I go along. So let's say that... 
there are resources in my showcase. That's where I'm going to put my web quest. So I'm going to go to pages and I need to add a page and I'm going to call this web quest introduction. Okay, now you see here, now I've got showcase and web quest introduction. I do not want it to be that way, so I'm going to go back to pages and I'm going to take my web quest introduction and I'm going to put it underneath the showcase like that. So now, actually, I'm going to go ahead and just add the rest of these steps. The task. I'll just take these and put them up just like this. And you see how I've got that indented just a little bit. That is going to create a drop down. Now whenever I save this, I go back and now I can go to my web question introduction, the task process, evaluation conclusion. If I have one web quest on this entire site, this is going to work out fine. But maybe I want to do something like create a website full of web quests. That's the only purpose of my website altogether. So instead of having these tabs up here at the top that would have information about the trainings that we're doing, it might say on this one, science web quests, and they would be listed here in drop downs. Math web quest, again listed in drop downs. And then you see how this one goes over. I can do that same thing with my web quest just by moving them over even more. See how this is right here? I'm going to save. Now when I go to showcase web quest introduction, and it does go on this side because there's not enough room on the other. But that is what I would do to organize that. And then I would just click on that and build that as I go.